Well, I guess it could be noted that in September 2014, I was like, you know, with college full blast or whatever, you know, and college having started and everything, it was sort of hard, you know, to make monthly calendars because they're pretty time consuming. So, yeah, I guess that just means I'm not clicking, I'm not ending the video. So, yeah. Um, so it was September 2014, and so, like, I didn't make the monthly calendar for September until almost at the end of the month, but the calendar was Inception. So the movie Inception came out, um, I think in 2009 or 2010. I didn't watch it for quite a while because of a review site, even, you know, a review site was talking about the movie, and, you know... I don't know exactly what they said about the movie, but they used this one word in, um, you know, they used it more of a metaphor, I guess, but that word is just, was just like such a horrible concept that it stopped me from watching the movie for a very long time. But you know, I finally watched the movie Inception, and, you know, after figuring out that there wasn't exactly that kind of content in it. And so I watched the film and um, it was actually pretty good and interesting. So Inception is just a movie about some guy who goes into somebody's dream to give him a thought, you know, a very original thought, you know. Um, I don't know how that guy can't get in trouble for stealing somebody else's thought even though it's planted in his brain, but you know. Um, so yeah, it's sort of not the best moral to go on, but it's not that horrible of a movie either. I mean, there is good content in it, you know, about a guy and, you know, remembering somebody that he loved and everything, and just had a lot of important stuff to it that might be worth watching it for. Um, there is some language, so that might not be the greatest, and... Some outfits are not the greatest either, I guess, but, you know, overall, it's not too bad of a film, and it's actually pretty exciting, and, um, so yeah, if you want to check that out, then that might be a good idea, if not, then, mm, then you're missing the movie Inception, but I guess that's your idea, and not mine, but it is actually an interesting movie, um, so, yeah, it's about planning... I can't say much more about it without spoiling it, I guess. But yeah, it was September 2014, and we were going to college. Um, me and my sister, I was doing college full-time. My sister, who was still doing high school classes, was um, doing just a few credits. And me and her shared the same theater class. And then um, I did voice and diction. We both did acting. That's what we were doing. Um, I did voice and diction, which probably didn't help much, sadly. Public speaking. Um, and English. I didn't get too bad of grades in those, but, you know, I still have a problem with speaking because, you know, I think I have something in my throat that makes it hard to breathe and everything. And I don't know. My lungs just don't fill up all the way, so... Unfortunately, it's hard to, you know, talk like they want you to. So, I know how to, I just have a hard time. Um, but then we have the movie, and, um, yeah, we did quite a bit. My older sister went to Italy for the semester. It was like, um, abroad, study abroad. Um, so yeah, when I do my study abroad, I want to go to Japan. And, yeah, if you haven't noticed that, that would probably be a good idea for me. Um, but yeah, um, there's a lot of cool stuff that was going on. Um, I don't know, I was working part-time while going to college. Um, couldn't work so many morning shifts except on Saturday. And, yeah. Um, so basically, what happened was this, ca this calendar was sort of set up, you know, um, the color scheme, the gray background, just cause, you know, for some reason it seemed like 
gray would work for the background of Inception, and then also blue, because that seemed like another background color. Maybe it was partly inspired by movie cases and stuff, and movie posters like this one, which I'll zoom in momentarily. But one thing I wanted to focus on on this one was sort of like a tilt. So you will see that, um, although the calendar box isn't really tilted, I actually could have done that. Um, there's actually these outside borders that, according to the template I think I used, I think I used a template, um, well, the template I used was called Tilt. And that actually w really was the kind of idea, because, you know, when they start to dream, like, gravity sometimes becomes crazy, um, just because of how it is. But, you know, there's, like, you know, this outside border, um, the border sort of is, like, sort of tilt, whatever. It looks like a tilted room. And then, I use this text font and all these pictures and have them tilt in the opposite direction. And they're not all tilted at the same angle, but, you know, it sort of just gives a crazy tilt to it all. And so... It can be crazy, um, at times, and, yeah, um, so here we got a picture of, of course, the tilting, when they're flying around on ceilings, fighting bad guys and stuff, um, it's actually sort of interesting, um, so yeah, well, not necessarily bad guys, they're, like, more of the protector of the brain, I don't know, subconscious people. Um, here is a city called, um, no, I'm not gonna say where it is, cause that would spoil it, but it's a city, and it's just a big city view, it doesn't, the characters, Cobbs and Ariadne, or whatever, um, are a little bit distant in this picture. Um, here is Cobbs and, hmm, that didn't work, Cobbs and Ariadne in the same place, looking at some of the houses they had built in times long past. Um, everybody can sort of, well, I don't know. It's his subconscious area, I guess. Um, here is Cobbs escaping from some museum or other, and he's using his gun to escape. Um, he got some papers, and they're pretty important papers. Here is a great location that they shot Alberta it was filmed in Alberta and you know there are these mountains in the background and they're climbing to the secret base um I would actually go to Alberta just for that background and so it was a really great location and even though they didn't have that many unrealistic sets in this I guess not many dreams are that unrealistic anyway and Alberta was a step differently but yeah here is a train running through Main Street. Um, yeah. They, I hear they actually filmed the scene in L.A., and now that I look at it, I might recognize some of these buildings, but I might not. Um, they could just look pretty similar. I think this was filmed in L.A., but it might not have been, but, you know, a train was just came bursting through the street, and, yeah, it was a crazy dream. Um, here is an obstacle illusion of a staircase that's always going upward, and, yeah, it's sort of strange, but it's an illusion. Sorry about that, if you wanted it to be great, but it could be great, too. It could be real, or an illusion. It's just, it's perception. That's what dreams are. And what did I just do? Um, did I move any boxes? No, I didn't. Um, here is a picture of a city that has been rotated or whatever. Like, turn some of the city upside down. Um, yeah, cars are driving. It's just weird. So, yeah, they're, they can start walking up. Dreams can be awesome sometimes. And here is a picture, like, a poster that is sort of advertising for it. Um, to be that way. And yeah. That's just how it is. Cities are crazy, everything's crazy. 
It's Inception. It's a dream. And here is a Japanese castle being flooded by water. And they actually... Yeah, it's just being flooded by water as he falls into a bathtub. You know, dreams are just like that. Um, so yeah, that's what was happening. Um, so this month had some stuff going on. Um, let's just say that... Last month's theme was... The Hunger Games 2! I could have put Catching Fire, but there probably wasn't enough room. And here's a picture of them on a train. Um, on the first was Labor Day. And so, no, I did not start homeschooling this year at that time. I actually started college school. And so, not that time, though, a little earlier. And my sister, my older sister, went to Italy. We would talk to her on Skype and stuff. Grandparents' Day, I still don't know what that is, but... Um, yeah, it's a day to celebrate. Captain America 2 on DVD. Now, this is the Winter Soldier. Now, you may have heard of it. And so, yeah, the Winter Soldier was this one crazy movie that came out one point in history. And it wasn't crazy so much, but it was a good movie. Yeah. So, yeah, you'll just have to see that later. Um, and on 9-11... This is actually an emotional day. It's a memorial day, I guess. So, yeah, just remember it. Well, uh-huh. I know I'm not that sad, but, you know, I didn't know anybody, but it would have been sad if I was close to it. And on the 19th was the Maze Runner in theaters. The Maze Runner is this one wild movie about the maze. And, you know, um, so, yeah. I might talk about that sometime later on, um, but I don't feel like it right now. And on the 22nd was fall. The star hair looks like a different color than the 9-11 star, though, for some reason. Um, don't know why it looks like a different color, but it might not be. Um, this is not what I had in mind. Mmm, scroll too far up. So, yeah. Um, yeah, the first day of fall was a holiday, and if you like fall, it gets wintry sometimes in Montana, not so much in L.A. Um, so, yeah, here we have other dates that are sometimes nothing or, yeah, nothing else, but it wasn't a lame month. I did some college. That was interesting. And so, yeah, next month theme is... Already, next month's theme is gonna be Delete Object BAM! Star Wars Episode 5 The Empire Strikes Back So that was my Inception calendar You know, we would eat at MSUB sometimes Which is a restaurant at another college Yes, they let people eat there Um, but yeah, it was a great time For college and everything Um, hopefully I look forward to going back to college this fall um, 2016. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye.